Hi, I'm Laurel and I'm here with Matis. Hello. Matis, did you watch any of the Olympics this year? I did, and particularly fascinating was to see the North and South Koreans play hockey with each other against the Swiss, even though they lost against us Swiss. <laughs> also interesting is to take a look at the North Korean and South Korean ecological footprints. Both countries experienced a doubling of their population since 1960s. Um, but in the late 1980s, their footprints were about the same. Since then, the scenario has changed quite a bit. Today, South Korea's footprint is nine times larger than their biocapacity. And North Korea still has a footprint four times larger than their own biocapacity. If we look at the trajectories, they're quite interesting too. If you see uh, North Korea, slight incline per person, and then as the Soviet Union dissolved, there was a quite pronounced and, and prolonged contraction of their ecological footprint. They had a hard time to recover with severe material uh, limitations for them. And now we see a contraction again. Meanwhile, South Korea has experienced prolonged economic boom, rapid urbanization, and has basically turned into an industrial powerhouse. We see dips in their footprint in 1980, 1997, and 2009, but overall it's been strong. And despite these quite divergent trajectories of the two countries, both are not compatible with sustainability. I mean, North Korea using four times more footprint than what they have by capacity is a severe difficulty materially, and that is not even enough to materially satisfy the needs of the people living there. And also South Korea, with all its successes, if everybody in the world lived their lifestyles, it would take more than three Earths. It's not replicable either. So neither of these narratives is one that will get us to what we're really looking for, which is great lives for all within the means of our one planet. So even though we see this, these issues, we know that Koreans are, have the fortitude and ingenuity to do something about it. And we are hoping that the foresight that comes from the ecological footprint assessments that have been conducted there are helping to put them on that path. The Koreans have also shown incredible innovation in the green city space. And we worked with WWF to assess Koreans' footprint, which the WWF colleagues have used to engage the leaders in Korea to accelerate the transition to a renewable energy future. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Looking forward.